you know what today's episode was, right? It was brought to you by a, a group, but and actually not a group, the group, the leaders in below the waist grooming. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about our friends over at Manscaped. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, today's episode is brought to you again by Manscaped. Now, last time we were here talking about Manscaped, we talked about that new lawnmower, that 4.0, because we had the 3.0, right? Yeah. But we talked about the 4.0. You gotta upgrade the blade. I mean, you gotta upgrade yeah. the blade. Not only do you upgrade it, I mean, the light, we said it turns on and off. And they also, for the travelers out there, because like me and you, we travel a lot, especially come the season. They have a travel lock on the on the blade, so that way, you know, TSA can't be playing with your thing, trying it out. You never know, man. You, they get they get a little antsy sometimes, right? Yeah. So shout out the Manscaped for that, man. They actually have a travel lock on this thing as well. I mean, it's an awesome thing, baby. It's awesome. So you definitely want to check out that new lawnmower 4.0. But you know how we also do this thing, man. We don't talk about anything on this show if we don't have a promo code. For sure. And we have a promo code, ladies and gentlemen. The promo code is MOAT. If you use that promo code, you'll receive up to 20% off plus free shipping. You heard that? 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com. What are you waiting on? Upgrade your blade. I can assure you, your delicate twins will thank you. But not only your delicate twins, you also, females, y'all can use this as well, man. Trust me on this. It is proven. Plenty of people love it. I love it. I know you talked about it. Use the promo code <laughs> most so you can get your 20% off plus your free shipping at manscaped.com. Let's go to the second storyline. Let's get Raiders. Uh-oh. The Raiders? Hey, the Raiders, the Raiders. <laughs> Ready? Let's do it. Derek Carr and the Raiders offense. They've lost some help at O-line in this last season. This, they did. This off season they definitely here. did, man. TJ, this is simple. He's going to get two and a half sacks. <laughs> Alex Look at Smith. Stat predictions. Alex, Let's get it. Yeah, yeah. Alex Highsmith gets one and a half. The whole defense gets sec- seven sacks. I yeah, yeah. This, I'm with you on that. Yeah, yeah. I compare this to week two last year against yeah. the Broncos. It's going to be a very similar I'm not game. Lie. It's it's really fun when you're part of them seven, eight sack games, bro. You just yeah, like, that's, oh, that's going what's going to happen. I don't know. Like <laughs> Everybody I said, gets a sack. TJ, two and a half. Mm-hmm. High Smith, one and a half. I don't know who gets the rest. It could be Mondo. Actually, no, I do. I, I have it right here. Uh-oh. Mondo even gets a .5 sack. Uh-oh. I, I, I got to ask you something now. <laughs> what? <laughs> now, David is bringing up our history against the Raiders. Talks about how I'm we, we about struggle. About, I was about to say, because he, he thinks we're gonna. this is the one that we lose. A lot of people feel like the Raiders, that's just that game. It's the weird game. Not this Our weird. history against them is weird. I think they're really on the downturn. Okay. What if they call Terrell Pryor back at quarterback? Yeah, then I'd be a little worried. But okay. No, nah, Derek Carr. We're good. Not concerned. He's about not him. going 99. At home. Dude, <laughs> hold good. on, hold on. <laughs> Let me add this too. This is Ben's first game back at home. Yes, Full it is. Full fans in yeah. the stand, Heinz Field. He's like, going to be juice for that. Big it's juice. It's going to be going crazy. Yeah, big juice. Our offense is fine. It's just business as usual. Najee Harris, 150 all-purpose yards. Ben with a cool 253 touchdowns. Mm -hmm. One touchdown to Frymouth. It's the first one. Shout out! Heinz Field gets to decide. What do we do? Is it Heath? Is it Moon? Is it Pat? What is it? (laughs) One to Claypool and one to Deontay. Juju has eight catches. I like that. So that's that's Raiders. We get the dub. I like that. Now I like us against, uh, against the Raiders. The Raiders, they're just unique. You don't know what you're going to get from them. Is this going to be heavy Josh Jacobs? Is it going to be their, them letting Derek Carr sling it? You just never know, and especially early on. But I do like the fact that it's in Pittsburgh. I feel like in Vegas, way too much could go wrong out there in Vegas. We know how Vegas can be at times. Sorry. Right? So I do like the fact. I, I hate it for us because I would have loved for us to go out there. Oh, that would have yeah. been, been a vibe. But as a whole, them coming here, I think that benefits us largely. So I do think, man, that's one that we definitely get done. I think it's going to be one of those weird games, though. I like It can be where we run away with it, or it low-key could be one of them weird... Last drive. Like, yeah. like I just Kind of like when we played Denver last year, right? I mean, it, I mean it's like week in two. Philly, it's a yeah, good comparable. I just feel like it's going to be a weird... Just We know we're better. We feel like we're in control, but we never really just put it away. Like I don't feel like... That's going to happen. But I do think we get it done, though. What's interesting is you mentioned Josh Jacobs. Yeah. That's probably their success is like, you know, mm-hmm. let's get Josh Jacobs the ball a lot. Let's get him over 100 yards. Yeah. I feel like our rush defense is going to be fine. It tailed it off be. at the end yeah. of last season. But but we had a ton going on from yeah. an injury standpoint. We're going to be standpoint. healthy right off the bat. Yeah. I think we're going to be able to stop him. And then you just put it on Derek Carr, which is yeah. what I like. I don't I don't think he's that good. 
I agree. I think he, I mean, he had, you know, his year where it looked really good, but I, ever since the, the injury, man, he just hasn't looked the same to me. So it's one of them things. Now, NSMC99, shout out to you, says 3221 Steelers. He thinks that, you know, Steelers get it done. Well. And then also Thomas did bring this up. He says Steelers lose in Oakland. Steelers are, or well, they're not going to be in Vegas this year, we but lost either way. one time to yeah. Bruce Gradkowski at home. We, huh? oh, Bruce was the quarterback. But Bruce is a legend in PA. You know that he was, does. He does. He's been doing terrible. that for a while. He, he's nice in PA. That was terrible. Bruce did get you. <laughs> that Shout was, out to Bruce. and that was one of those Shout Raider seasons too, where <laughs> they may have had one or two wins at that point. Yeah. Like they were yeah. bad. Like for them to be starting yeah. Bruce at that point in the season, I think they dealt with some injuries at quarterback. But he just came in and was like vintage Brett Favre on us, oh, slinging man. it everywhere. I couldn't believe. And it. And he moves well. Yeah, it was terrible, man. 